in the shadow of a smoke plume. We're leaving. Dory Watts is getting ready to flee the family farm. Oh, well, I'm worried for my daughter because I don't want her house to burn. <laughs> um, other than that, we're just all prepared as much as we can, and we're going to try and get out of here safely. That means sprinklers on the roof, trucks hauling out horses and livestock. But time is running out. The Karameas Creek wildfire has grown to 28 square kilometers, burning through inaccessible rocky terrain. The heavy smoke often hampering air crews dropping water on the tinder dry brush. Highway 3A between Protecton and Karameos is closed to allow for controlled burns. Almost 230 firefighters are now on the fire line. Crews from nearby cities are prepared to douse structure fires. So far, only one home lost. For the moment, it's as good as it gets. In the next few days and throughout this week, uh, the south half or so southern part of the province is expected to have lower temperatures, um, which will help us with our relative humidity recoveries overnight. This is a good sign for our crews as it'll allow them to get an upper hand. But there have been 81 fire starts in the past two days, 121 in the past week, most caused by lightning strikes. Evacuation alerts are also in effect for 55 homes near Lytton, properties near the Biggs Creek Fire in the Central Kootenays, and near the Watching Creek Fire close to Kamloops. Some are on First Nations land. Some of them may have moved out just uh, to be safe, but I do, I do know that some home members are staying there for now. Part of Dory's family are also staying to fight the flames. Uh, keeping everybody as calm as I can and feeding everybody and, you know, trying to make sure that whoever's here, there's three families here, so I make sure that everybody's out and that they're safe. Tom Popic, CBC News, near Twin Lakes, B.C.